Um, so once again, your name is? Bob Whiteman. Bob Whiteman, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Anyway, the reason I'm, I was a little bit late is because I was driving from, well, I live near Patterson out towards Galita now. When I got to Summerlin, yes. traffic stopped, and, yeah. and, and so I had to get off on the side road and, and do it that way. But anyway, um, I, I was born in Santa Monica in 1939, so we're about the same age. Exactly. <laughs> and my, my parents eloped from Cedar Falls, Iowa. They had met and um, fell in love, and my mom's father, my grandfather, was a county supervisor for Black Hawk County in Cedar Falls. And my dad's dad was the um, station master at the Illinois Central Railroad Station, whatever. But anyway, they met. They had $110 or something like that, and they decided to come to California, so they eloped on a Saturday. <laughs> anyway, they drove all the way on Highway 66 to Santa Monica Pier. And uh, of course they stopped along the way, but and then they found a room to rent for $17 in Santa Monica, and this was still during the Depression, so jobs were scarce. So my dad went to work as a gardener, and I, I don't know what my mom did, but I was born 11 months later in Santa Monica Hospital, and they lived right across the alley from that. But anyway, um, growing up, you know, we listened to the radio and and saw some movies and. Um, when I was seven years old, I, I was a cowboy. I wanted to be a cowboy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so Roy Rogers was my, was my hero. And so, well, my dad, uh, we lived less than a mile from Douglas Aircraft, Santa Monica. We lived in Venice, down the runway. My dad had this leather jacket that he wore when he, he worked at nights there. And anyway, uh, since I wanted to be a cowboy, my mom cut up the leather jacket wow. and made these shafts for me. Wow. <laughs> and you see, it, they called me Bobby, but she put Bob, and I, I'm going. Anyway, so this, this is Roy Rogers on his horse. <laughs> And I, I have I have just saved these because they mean a lot to me because I, I can remember her making them and cutting up the leather jacket and yeah. sewing them and everything so it was it was really something so for a couple of years I was a cowboy and after the war ended 1946 or so we could get gas again so we uh, my folks were just anxious to get back to Iowa and visit all the relatives so I, I wore my cowboy outfit the whole way and wore these jackets <laughs> and everything. And, Went crazy if I saw a guy on a horse and I was a cowboy. <laughs> but so I was enamored when I was seven, eight with, with being a cowboy. And then um, when I was nine, I, I wasn't a cowboy, I was a football player then. So, <laughs> so but uh, anyway, so they, they mean a lot to me. And then, since Roy Rogers' wife, Dale Evans, um, wrote. Happy Trails. I thought I would play Happy Trails for you. <laughs> the accordion, no kidding. This is not something crazy. Um, I taught school for 41 years at Foothill School in Goleta. And I taught like nine subjects a day, but I've been a musician all my life. I play basically the piano is my instrument, but uh, I play a bunch of things. And I play piano around town at different places. But uh, anyway, I'll play it. <laughs> Museum. I don't know if any of you ever visited that out near Lancaster. Yes. Okay. Apple Valley. And Apple Valley. Yes. Whatever. Yes. Yeah. And then there was another one back back east someplace, mm -hmm. but that closed some years ago, and they sold off all, all these things that Roy Rogers and Dale had, and things from the movies, 
and they had on the internet how much each each item sold for, and it was a lot of money. And then it was about 19, in the late 70s or so, uh, Great Western Bank opened a new branch um, 